So there's this guy, and he goes to prison. They process him in, assign him a cellmate. They go to evening chow. And when they come back, they're all kind of outside their cells, talking amongst themselves, out on the banister. You know, you could see everybody across the way. And somebody yells out, 73! And the whole prison erupts in laughter. And so another guy yells out, 13! Again, the whole place erupts in laughter. And so he turns to his uh, cellmate and he says, what's this all about? And the cellmate tells him, he says, we don't have time after chow to tell an entire joke. So we all memorized them and assigned them a number. That way we can have some fun after chow before we have to wrap it up for the night. And the new guy thinks, you know, he says, that's kind of crazy, but all right. And so a little bit of time goes by. He gets used to being in prison, kind of gets with the program and everything. And so he feels like it's his time. And so after Chow, sure enough, you know, 62. And everybody's laughing, going crazy, going crazy. Somebody else, four. Oh my gosh, four. Everybody erupts in laughter at four. And so then he yells out, 23. And it's dead silent. And he looks at his cellmate and he says, well, what's going on? I don't get it. And his cellmate says, some people just don't know how to tell a joke. In honor of Veterans Day, I say thank you for your service. My uh, Carl Vinson hat when I served back in the 80s. Especially as the days get colder, hard starts are going to start happening with our vehicles. It's just a part of moving from fall into winter. It's just gonna happen eventually if you've got an older battery and it's kind of on the back side of its uh, life sooner or later you might find yourself going to work in the morning or coming back from out shopping for thanksgiving or christmas or whatever and you may have trouble getting your car started because of the battery some of us remember the days when we used to pull out jumper cables and carry them around and get a jump from somebody else if you can get somebody to give you a jump Hey, mister, you got a minute? Maybe I could get some help from whoever's driving this ProMaster that I've never seen before. Some other things to consider if you use jumper cables is if you cross up the wires on the battery, you could burn up the ECM, which is the electronic brain inside these vehicles. If you jump start your car backwards and put positive and negative and negative and positive with the terminals, you can destroy this computer. Also, if you use jumper cables from a vehicle that's running to your vehicle that's not running and you turn the key and start it, now you've got both alternators uh, competing with each other and you can tear up electronics that way too. If you have this car running, the alternator is spinning. And when you jump start it to the other car, when that car starts, that alternator will start spinning. They'll spin against each other and they can destroy electronics. So jumper cables are so 2004. Let's grab the Gulu and take a look at what it can do. So what we do with this thing is we just plug the plug in. There's a, a little hatch where you can plug in the jumper uh, spring clips themselves and you can charge it up to a 100 watt charger. So it uh, has that fast charging capability. Now, if you don't have a 100 watt PD charger, you can use the cigarette lighter that comes with the kit and plug it into your cigarette lighter and it will charge it at the maximum capacity. This actually happened to me once uh, several months ago. So I've had this for almost a year. Here's my Gulu. I haven't uh, charged this thing since I got here. It hasn't been touched for about five months. I charged it up and then I didn't do anything else with it. Let's see how it performs. You can see I've had it out in uh, Blythe, out with the school bus. So now I'm gonna do these. All right, we're all clipped in. <clears throat> I'm gonna come over here and turn the unit on. 100%, five, five months it's been sitting. Lithium battery, that's, that's how they hold the charge. So it's saying that it's ready, I just hit boost. And now it's blinking here that it's ready. 
the rest of that video was damaged. And so here I am now at the same time I'm shooting the video, you see it's fall. And uh, I went to move the car and <laughs> same thing. So we got a great opportunity to do it again. Let's do it. So I just plug this in here like it, I did just a minute ago, which was several months ago. And I turn the unit on. Got our 100%. Place it here. I'm going to pick up. Positive, I'm a little tight right here. You gotta grab positive in here. There, that's way easier. Grab positive wherever you got it. Grab negative, which I could also grab negative on the frame if you're new to jump starting vehicles. And then I'm gonna hit boost. Now what's great about this is when I was in California at the Paradise Fires, we went, we got moved up to the Chico uh, Fairgrounds, big parking lot, and I had an older one of these that wasn't as powerful, this hadn't come out yet, but I was able to walk around that parking lot, all the people that got displaced from the Paradise Fires, a lot of them were in that parking lot and not really knowing any better they were using their dome lights people were sleeping in their cars and they were using the lights from the vehicle at night and they had dead batteries the next morning and i would literally just walk around with this and say hey you need a jump start and i would just go one to another to another to another and when we were broke down in the bus on the overpass just uh north of beaver utah uh, people would pull up there and have problems uh, jump starting their car and they'd say hey can I get a jump start and I would just walk over with this and uh, they were like what's going on you know I thought you were gonna jump my car and I'll put this on their car and say go ahead and start it they'd start it and they would just be amazed but I didn't have to involve my vehicle and and potentially have some of the problems that we just saw in the previous clips there so I've had this for almost a year and throughout that period i've left it out in the rain by mistake i've used it when i was putting the well in uh, for charging my phone and charging a couple of other things like headsets and stuff i'm always listening to a podcast or something on uh, the the earbuds and so i'm keeping those charged while i'm working when i went to atlanta to pick up the corvette it's a 1994 it doesn't have the modern fittings here and so i just made sure this was charged up and took it with me on the plane. And so I had uh, a phone charger in this and I had earbud chargers on it and anything else that I might've brought along, this thing will, will act as a uh, charger, putting out a hundred watts just like it takes in. Let's get out of the cold. Much better, much warmer. Let's open this thing up. Mainly, I want you to see the cigarette lighter cord. I think you've seen probably most all the rest of them. So here it comes. Nice, sturdy box. You could probably just keep it in this box. It's got padding on the inside of it, even that much more of a reason. So we've got the Gulu still in its packaging. Just for kicks, let's turn it on and see what it's got from the factory. What we got? 79. We're gonna go ahead and charge it and top it off so we're ready to go for whatever we need it for. But 79 right out of the box. Hulu manual. A little bag that you can carry this in if you want to. They also uh, have a, a case for it, a soft case. Gulu website and at uh, Amazon, Gulu's Amazon store. These uh, spring clips are bigger 
and way hardier than ones I've seen in the past. I mean, these are right up there with uh, the old school jumper cables. In some cases, these are even stronger than them. So you know this is gonna last a little while. You've got a female end on a cigarette lighter in the case that you wanna plug it in uh, to the charging port or the output port, excuse me, on this. USB-C to USB-C right here, they're giving you. USB to USB-C, they're giving you. And then this is the one I really wanted you to see. This is the power cord that you can charge it with from your cigarette lighter. And it charges really fast, especially if you just wanna, you run out of power and you just wanna jump somebody off, it'll uh, charge in just a matter of a few minutes to be able to handle that. Also, it's worth noting that the uh, male plug has got a USB out. So if you've got it plugged in and you wanna charge your phone at the same time, it's covered. So, if I haven't explained this in a way that's got you fighting for your credit card right now, then I didn't do my job. Why do I say that? Because it's so handy as a personal portable power device in its own right. But then in addition to that, you can use it to jumpstart your vehicle or somebody else's vehicle if the need ever arises. With Christmas right around the corner, you might be thinking, what do I get that person? It's really hard to shop for because it seems like they already have everything. Here you go. This is something they probably don't have. And if they had something like this, it's probably an old model that isn't as modern and can do as much as this one anyway. Plus, you've got your kids or grandkids coming home from college or whatever for the holiday seasons and you want to get a gift for them. Here you go. This is something that they can use to charge their phones and their handheld electronics. We know it can charge a laptop, but also it keeps them from getting stranded someplace where their starter battery is an issue. Also, you got your family members that you want to all have one of these in their vehicle. So I'm going to put a link in the description to this unit directly, the uh, GT4000S. So with that, I appreciate you watching and see you on the next video.